So guys, for the first step, once you're on this screen, in the bottom right, you want to click on the power icon. Now, you want to hold shift on your keyboard and then click on restart. This is where the shift key is located on your keyboard. So, you want to click on the power icon, hold shift on your keyboard and then click on restart. Keep on holding on shift as the computer is restarting. Keep holding shift. Which will now take us to here. Now, once we're here, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options and then command prompt. And now this will come up. Now once you're on this, you want to type in reg edit and then click on enter. And this should now come up. And now once you're on this, you want to select HK local machine, which will now highlight it. So you want to select HK local machine. Now you want to click on file and then click on load hive. And now once you're on this, you want to click on this PC. And then you want to go to your Windows drive. For me, it's going to be my C drive. I'm going to click on that and then click on Windows. We're going to scroll down until we find System32. We're going to scroll down until we find System32. Double click on that. Now you want to click on Config. We're going to scroll down. Click on Config. Now once we're here, you want to find Software. We're going to scroll down. Click on Software and then click on Open. And now once this comes up, you want to type in M Software. So type in M Software and then click on OK. For the next step, you can follow everything that I'll be doing up here. So now you want to expand HK Local Machine. And now you want to expand M Software. And now you want to expand Microsoft. And now you want to expand Windows NT. We're going to scroll down until we find Windows NT. You want to expand that. And now you want to expand current version. And now you want to expand passwordless. We're going to scroll down. So we find password list, you want to expand up. And now you want to click on device. And now this will appear on the right side. Again, you can follow everything that I did up here. Make sure that you're now in the device folder. And now once we're here, it's going to be saying device passwordless build version. Double click on it. And now in this box, you want to type in the number zero. So make sure that on the value data, you have the number zero and then click on OK. And we can now close out this. And we can now close out this as well. And now we're going to turn off our computer. And now you want to turn on your computer again and then come back to this screen. And now once we're here, it should let you sign in. But if not, there may be some options on the bottom right here, like a key. If you click on that, it might be saying something like sign in options. You just want to follow through those steps and it should then let you sign in. That's how you do it.